to agenda item eight. That's the report for county manager, Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman and commissioners, you have at your seats a report that you requested staff provide you at a previous meeting. This concerns your questions regarding the proposed budget increases at the uh, Valdosta Lowndes County Airport. Um, we staff had conversation with uh, Jim Galloway, who is in the audience, and provided us this information. We have put it in the format for your consideration. It's whatever you'd like to do from there, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, of course, um, commissioners, as, as was requested, you asked for additional information. Uh, staff has um, furnished the additional information that uh, was mentioned. I, I have also shared some additional information with you. I have also asked uh, Mr. Steve Everett and Mr. Jim Galloway uh, to come this evening to the meeting so that it give them an opportunity um, to, um, to address the commission and what they might want to offer up as far as uh, their request and then give you the opportunity at the same time to address them and, and uh, Answer or uh, ask any questions you might have of them. Gentlemen, please come forward. As I'm, I'm Jim Galloway, the airport manager and the executive director of the Lowndes, Valdosta Lowndes County Airport Authority. Um, the, uh, the primary driving factor for the budget increase request this year is for law enforcement coverage at the airport. We currently have a law enforcement officer there for 17 hours a day. That's pretty much when the, the commercial airline terminal is open. Um, <clears throat> what is driving this request is uh, just after 9-11, the Transportation Security Administration was reimbursing uh, the law enforcement agency uh, pretty much for the whole 17 hours. And over the years, that has gotten now to where at an airport like ours, where there's not continuous commercial service, they have determined that uh, for budget purposes that they will reimburse for two hours per departure. So uh, up to $20 an hour. And the city of Valdosta has been just eating the rest of it out of, out of their own police department budget. So they requested that we put the law enforcement coverage into our budget in order to kick it into the, uh, the legislation that governs the airport authority which says that the county and the city shall uh, share the expenses at the airport equally. Um, and <clears throat> We, we've discussed some various options, and I will draw your attention to probably the people that feel the most vulnerable at the airport uh, are the TSA screeners. None of them are armed, um, and they, but TSA screeners have been targets. Uh, just here recently, a uh, man was, uh, I think he went to trial, he went to the New Orleans airport uh, with a machete and Molotov cocktails in his backpack, and he, he was able to swing his machete and injure a couple of TSA officers before even the, the law enforcement officer was there could respond and, and take this guy down. Remember, about a year and a half ago at Los Angeles International Airport, there was an active shooter that went in and was the first person he shot, I believe, was a TSA uh, agent or security agent there. So, um, and probably second most vulnerable that people talk to me about uh, are the rental car people. Because uh, we get a lot of off airport traffic comes to the airport to rent cars. And uh, sometimes they can be very, uh, uh, boisterous or obnoxious, uh, and it makes the uh, it makes the employees there feel very uncomfortable. Um, so, is it required? The requirement is to have a someone with um, arrest authority uh, in the immediate vicinity when baggage or passengers are being screened. That's that's the requirement. The rest of it is is more of just a, it, the airport is a very vulnerable target. Uh, and if somebody wanted to make a statement, I think it'd be a very easy place for them to make some sort of a statement especially if we were dependent upon 911 service versus having a law enforcement officer out there uh, during that time. So I would ask for a considerable, uh, uh, for favorable consideration on the, on the, uh, on the request. I'm Steve Everett. I'm chairman of the Lowndes County, Valdosta Lowndes County Airport Authority, and I echo all Jim's comments. Uh, we, as the airport authority, are kind of stuck in the middle. We get our funding, our, our shortfall in funding, from equally between the county and the city. So uh, we are kind of the recipient of the shortfall here. But I, I would like to urge you all to consider this request because uh, we are a vulnerable target out there. Uh, we, 
even though TSA only reimburses us two hours per departure, we are susceptible to targets at any time during the day. We have closed circuit cameras out there. The policemen are, are observing. They're watching the closed circuit cameras. They're making patrols out there. There are have, there have been cases of people show up across the fence uh, away from uh, flight times. So you don't know what they've got in mind, and, and it, it, it could be a dangerous situation. And uh, if, if we turn a policeman loose to go out and patrol, and then we call him back during, for two hours during that departure, if he gets called out on a, on a call, a serious call or a, an accident or something like that, and he can't come to the airport, then we have to stop. And, uh, and we'll do very well for our passengers. And you just can't call another policeman in because all of these policemen are specially trained to handle the, uh, uh, the things that we do down at the airport. I just don't want anything to happen down at our airport at Valdosta, Georgia, and somebody, um, uh, and we wish that we would have had the police coverage, and we didn't have it because of lack of funding. We're sorry that, that uh, the TSA or the government has, has considered a, uh, to pass this, ch uh, this uh, charge down to us, but it, it is, in fact, what it is. And uh, we just like to get funded so that we can continue operations that we have in the past. We'll be glad to answer any questions. Mr. do you have any questions? So this officer is designated? They're trained. There, yes. There are three primary officers that are out there. They work six days on and three days off. So you got one that swaps back and forth between the mornings and the evenings when the normal one is there. There are more than three that are trained, uh, but those they, uh, the, uh, the shift commander assigns whichever one he wants to have out there. And it, it's, it's actually, it's kind of, I like it having the regulars because it's kind of like a beat, if you will. You kind of get to know the faces and the people and things like that. And if something odd happens and they can pick up on it very quickly that there's something a little bit different going on out there. Uh, Steve, how, how long do you have the current funding for, I guess, an officer? Uh, I take it someone's there right now, right? We are, we are actually, uh, when, so we started July 1st into our new fiscal year uh, as a deficit. We, we, don't, we don't have the money to cover them right now. We're, we're, we're kind of deferring to tonight. We're hoping that something happens quick. And so, so you're saying no one's there? No, they are there. They are there. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to fund this. Or this. Well, um, the, the, the grant from TSA is actually with the city of Aldosta. And they, they feel strongly enough that they need a police coverage out there that right now they're just eating it out of hide still. And so they're looking for some relief from them paying 100% of the law enforcement officers out there to some share between the city and the county. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, commissioners, as y'all